Well, the leader of the Armand's Green Party, Andrew Newton, joins us. Um, there's going to be a bit of a sort of meeting coming up, and a sort of I think you're calling it a sort of relaunch, but uh, we'll find out more about this. First of all, the Green Party, how, how big how, are you in the Isle of Man? You know, do you have a good following? Yes, yeah, so the Green Party was originally set up in August 2016, just right at the time of the last general election, and it's been running steady since that time. But now, it's, it's, as you said, it's going for a kind of relaunch. The meeting's going to be um, the Tuesday, the 27th of March at 6.30pm at the Columbia Club on Circular Road. And it's going to be an extraordinary general meeting, but just so there's some formalities. We're going to amend the constitution and introduce some um, positions for the party. And it's an opportunity to the, for, the, for the party to go out to the public again and try and relaunch itself in, in view of 2018, being a, a special place in the Isle of Man to live and work, as Dan Mangumman says, and also with the biosphere status and all these things that are surrounding the status of biosphere and harmony and sustainability, which is all concepts and values that the Green Party in the Isle of Man embraces. Is Green Party Isle of Man, Green Party UK, are you affiliated? N no, so that's a question that's lodged quite popularly uh, to me and uh, often. Um, so. It, the Isle of Man Green Party is a standalone Green Party. Um, however, the Green Party as a term recognises that there is a global body of Green Parties and there's also a European body of Green Parties that only have this connection between themselves on the basis of shared values. So mm. there's no shared formalities. We don't, um, uh, we don't take orders from other parties, mm. but obviously to represent yourself as a Green Party, you have to respect and embrace the values and the core value of the Alman Green Party, is sustainability and, and all things in general from that. But are you a political party? I mean, the next, um, you know, when the next time for the House of Keys comes up, would you be looking to put people up on a green ticket, for instance? Absolutely. So yes, yes, we are a registered Green Party, uh, a registered political party yeah. in the Man under the representation of the People's Act and so that we can run candidates for political office. Um, and yes, you're exactly right. So this relaunch on the 27th of March is looking towards September um, 2021 and the Isle of Man Green Party running candidates in that general election. So what, cycling uh, to work and recycling and all these sort of things, the usual buzz things that affect all the Green, well, interest all the Green Party members. Absolutely, so they are all, you could describe as policies, but then the core um, ethos or aim is the sustainability and, and how that can be thought out in the political forum to help the society of the Isle of Man achieve that. And so health and travel and um, low carbon emissions, they're all things that are familiar with Green Parties. How are we doing on the Isle of Man, do you think? Uh it's on track. I mean, they have introduced a cycling sort of uh, tax release and that sort of thing, even on the electric bikes. Yeah, sort of and, and that's positive to see. And w to start off with, we've got the biosphere status, mm. which is a great accolade for the Isle of Man, and that's really positive. And to maintain that uh, impetus towards the concept of the biosphere and the harmony and sustainability that that rec represents, um, we need to continually discuss and consider and introduce these ideas like the initiative from the Isle of Man government about cycling and it's good to see that in the budget but there's obviously a lot more we can do especially with the issues of plastics and, and waste in our closed community. And as, as a time of recording I think the, one of the last major uh, big supermarkets has now started charging for their one-use plastic bags. Do you think we're always behind the curve here? Right? We could be leading so many things sometimes don't you, do you feel that you know we, we do just follow the, the pack almost. Yeah, well, the Isle of Man has led on things in the past. People uh, voting for 16-year-olds, uh, first place to vote for women, and going back a long more time. Um, however, there are things in terms of a plastic bag duty, which is something that's been universally introduced in the, in the British Isles, and the, that yet the Isle of Man hasn't adopted that, and why that hasn't been adopted in, in view of all these other places who have adopted it, and it has been a sensible measure to introduce. I don't think that's and clear to me. Do you all see wind turbines everywhere and uh, all that sort of thing? Well, I, I think um, my personal preference is solar offers a, mm. a great opportunity going into the future. Um, but all these things are sustainable generation, taking advantage of our assets in terms of the wind, the tide and the sun, that is a sustainable outcome rather than just taking things out of the ground and uh, putting them into the air in pollution. And, and why this relaunch then? Had, had you lost uh, sort of direction or membership or something or just looking to so, revamp I mean, for some reason? With all these things, um, 
knowledge comes with experience and so setting up a political party and then running it in a method that allows people to engage with it and has positive outcomes for the Alamance Society, well that took a bit of experience and, and now we're coming up, well, it's over a year and a half now since it was originally launched and hopefully now we've, we've got that knowledge on board to take it forward to the next step towards creating a a sustainable party in the Isle of Man which can then run candidates um, and hopefully have candidates elected and we can really introduce the party politics. So the, the election process is starting right now? Well it should do and it shouldn't stop. I think um, you shouldn't you should be concerned about having candidates announcing two months before an election and then maybe conceiving ideas in that time for their ideas rather in the alternative which we're proffering which is having a continual process of engagement with the population, um, of production of ideas and, and drawing towards those implementations so then hopefully when the party is elected um, or candidates of the party are elected into, into political office, we've already got a plan that's been agreed or engaged with the Alman population. If people want more information? You got a website? Yes, or? yes, we've got a Facebook page mm -hmm. and we've got Twitter feed and email. Um, so you can find us on Facebook at Alman Green Party and then similar on Twitter, green underscore IOM and then Green Party IOM at hotmail.com. And do we give me any predictions of how many people you think you might get in or is that just a bit too early to say well, that? Well I think no, I think it's important to have an object, even okay. if it might be considered an aspirational object. So I think thinking towards September twenty one, um, would you want to be running 12 capable and um, competent candidates um, in the 12 constituencies and to, to an aim to get to end, uh, 12 MHKs. I mean, and, and would you see yourself as one? Well? Um, well, I'd, I'd too early to say it or running, it is too early to say certainly, um, and uh, I've got a very good job at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> so, um, so, but yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying being engaged with the political process and that's yeah. what hopefully more people, rather than having to be an MHK to be engaged and, and be involved with the policy function, the Green Party offers that opportunity to the Alman population to get involved.